We are live today. We're going to be talking with Echo Flips about how to actually get started with only $500. So a lot of people, they watch content. They haven't actually started their Amazon FBA store yet. Um, and if that's you, this is the perfect video for you because we're going to go exactly how to actually get started with $500 so that you can test it out, get your first couple of sales, make some profit and continue building from there. So, uh, Cody, what are your first thoughts on this question? Yeah. So the thing about this is when you want to start an Amazon FBA business, you might not even be at the point where you have $500 yet. So just going into like, how can you get that initial capital to start? Um, and my advice is uh, one thing that you can do is just do like gig work. So you could do like Uber Eats, DoorDash. It only takes a few minutes to sign up on your phone. And then bam, you can start making money if you have a car. If you don't have that, you can go on a website, say like, uh, you know, Fiverr or Upwork and do gigs like that, um, where it's basically all like, say you have any type of skill, say you know English and you can help somebody overseas learn English. Somebody will pay you for that skill on Fiverr. So you can use so you can use the skills that you already have to acquire uh, just that little bit of startup capital that you need. Um, one other thing, just, you know, just <laughs> just to cover all the bases that you could do, that's a little bit more risky. But if you do, uh, you know, if you do it the way that I love to do online arbitrage, which is merchant fulfilling items, it's really not risky at all. Um, you could open up a credit card where it's 0% APR for an entire year, and then use that money to start online arbitrage. And chances are, if you open up a credit card like that, you're going to get at least 500 to a thousand dollars and zero percent apr for an entire year so it's pretty much free money but you do have to pay it back um so yeah those are just some ways that you can get that initial 500 bucks and we can just go straight into like what to actually do after you have that money yeah and just to clarify with the zero percent apr card if you do do that you will not have to pay back all of the money for usually a year it'll stay in the statement terms um, you will have to pay like 10% of it in a minimum payment. Um, but that's super marginal. So, um, yeah, that's a great option. One of the best options to just get capital when you have no capital. Um, yeah. and I also didn't know that about, uh, like Fiverr and teaching English. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. There's all, I mean, sense. if you have any type of skill, you can sell it online or you could start some other type of business. You know, you sell, you could sell water outside of a stadium. I know that's kind of uh, in the gray area of legal and not legal, but you know nobody's gonna no, nobody's going to really call you out for that if you're just selling a few waters. But just get in that initial capital to get the ball rolling, because uh, this is a really great business. It's really scalable. You can make a ton of money from home. Which that uh awesome. that reminds me of the uh, I don't know if you saw the the penny series with Ryan Trahan. <laughs> Oh yeah, that went like super viral. It went very viral. So like I'm not surprised that you've seen it, but. If you yeah. guys uh, watching have seen it, basically what he does is he goes basically to a place that has a lot of people. He'll get like starting cash of like five bucks, 10 bucks or something. He'll go into a store. He'll buy like a 12 pack of water um, for you. Hopefully you have a cooler lying around your house somewhere, or you could just purchase one for five bucks and he just sells them for $2 each and like makes his starting cash that way. So that's yeah. a, a great way to just multiply your money from like, let's say you have, you're like, I have 20 bucks. Yeah. Like, All right. That's not very much money. You're going to have to make a little bit more than that, but um, that's enough to get started with something like that. Um, but yeah, let's get into like what you're actually going to do once you have your starting cash for Amazon FBA. Um, so my personal opinion, I think there's two ways that you can go about this. Um, you can do merch fulfilled, which basically like Cody was saying, is very low risk because you can purchase these items. You can list them merch fulfilled. If they don't sell within the time frame that you want, you can just return them. Yep, 100%. And so there's a bunch of different ways that you can merch fulfilled. We can get into that. But um, the second thing that you can start with is books, in my opinion. And books is good because like used books are going to be really cheap. You can oftentimes get them for free um i'm just trying to get the camera to focus but you're, yeah you're, it's all good camera's all good we can still see what you're saying <laughs> yeah but um but yeah i mean merch fulfilled 
or books is probably where I would get started because both of those are going to be pretty low risk and uh, good for capital. What are your thoughts, Cody? Yeah, I think uh, out the gate doing merchant fulfill is the best way possible because the thing is you could literally order stuff from Walmart. Oh, there you go. (laughs) Josiah is here. (laughs) You could order stuff from Walmart and then (coughs) list it on your Amazon account, sell it the same day. And even if it's only $2 profit, I mean, you made some money doing the business and you just keep on doing that over and over again. Yeah. If it doesn't sell, you just return it. Um, So it's awesome. I want to say hey to everyone in the chat. For some reason, I had it unclicked, and so I didn't see any of these comments. But what's up, Josiah? Good to see you. Boo, credit. True. It's probably better to make the mistakes on your own bill, but that is an option people can do if they want to be risky. A little riskier. Uh, we got Laugh More saying, wanted to ask, can you guide regarding setting right expectations? Really good outcome versus oh. average outcome. Yeah, I want to talk about this a little bit because... Um, for those of you who don't know, before I started reselling, I played RuneScape and I played RuneScape for like six years beforehand. And when I quit that game, I decided to go into reselling basically as my like video game. And I'm like, shoot, if I make $3 an hour reselling and learning that skill for the first few months, the first six months, like so be it because I was going to spend this three hours a day playing RuneScape anyways. Yep. So Correct. that's, I think if you go into reselling with that kind of mindset, like I'm just going to grind this, I'm going to learn, I'm going to get better. And like, you know, like I was going to be watching Netflix anyways. So like it's better to make $4 an hour than watch Netflix. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like, you got to look at a, uh, it's like, Oh, like oh you know you're only making two dollars selling this thing or you're only making four dollars it's like well playing call of duty warzone makes you how much roi is that getting you you can a negative roi you know you might even be mad afterwards and like feel worse because that's how i feel when i play video games half the time yeah um i mean it can like reselling can also just be super fun and like you don't i think the the thing too is like if you're getting into this and you're completely new finding a few people that you can just talk about reselling with really helps out because it becomes a game at some point, you know? Um, Because you're just, like, it's just fun. It's not like, I I at least, how I see it is, it's not necessarily like, oh, um, I have to go to this this job and you, like, have to do this work. It's like, okay, I get to do this. Like, you get to wake up, find some items to flip, and then when you sell them, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, um, the cool thing about reselling is that there's not really like the ceiling is actually pretty high when it comes to like how much you're going to make. Because like, if you go do like Uber or something, or if you go do something else, um, like at a job or something, you kind of know like what the max you're going to make is. But with reselling, like at the very start, you're just not going to do very well with it. But then eventually you can do really well with it. So, um the uh yeah. the website jungle scout i was looking yesterday they have an article and it says it shows how much amazon's ma- amazon sellers make per percentile in the bottom percentile like you like you're literally like one of not necessarily like that you're the worst amazon seller but you're a seller that's really new you're not making too much money the average person makes a hundred and forty dollars profit just by having an amazon seller account which is insane to think of like imagine Wait, what you do buy you mean? a scratch off like you're gonna lose money well if you make an amazon account the average person that has an amazon account makes 140 bucks a month in profit oh i see i see like uh, Wait, on, the, they, on the low end they... like if you get an average of the bottom 22 percent of people i see on the low end you make 140 bucks profit a month which is insane. And then the median, um, I believe I'd have to look at the article again, but I believe the median was around twenty to thirty thousand dollars in sales, which you would equate to around two to four grand a month. That's yeah, like especially de- yeah, that's like really, really nice side hustle money, that's for sure. Or full time money too. 
Yeah, I could imagine too, like the survey was maybe a little bit skewed because, uh, you know, there's some sellers that uh, are super huge, like Amazon Lit taking it. And it's like, they're, you know, he's making <laughs> like hundreds of thousands of dollars in profit a week now. Yeah, what so, does he do? do? Doesn't he do like 50 million a year or what is he doing now? I, I'm not too sure, but he had like a breakdown where he was showing his weekly sales and his weekly sales was like almost a mil. Wow. Yeah. I'm curious what his overhead is. Yeah, I don't know. I can That's imagine crazy. it's probably a good bit. He also has a partner and he works directly with brands. I think his business model is a little bit more of like an agency. So it's a bit different because they manage well, the they brands are... that they're selling. Oh, I see. That's what Amazon that does. They like basically work with brands and the value add is that they are making Amazon pages for them. Pretty much. Um, yeah, it's more, more like it. we, we help you sell your product on Amazon. That's kind of like his his thing oh, and I he'll see. help out with the um he'll help out with the product pictures the description like it's really like a big value add he also does wholesale too um, yeah but that's that's another aspect of his business we got kevin in the house favorite asin um i i don't think i've ever said this in public but i think i'm at the point where i can say this in public now Di uh cody was trashing on dymos the other day oh and gosh i actually have done pretty well with dymos um yep so dymos earlier um, this year i did very well with dymos christiana let's go good to see you uh raspy love you check me at neko oh i appreciate that oh, raspy you, you and you it. and laugh more should like connect on instagram and like network about getting started with amazon and like bounce ideas off of each other i feel like that could be really good for both of you should be buddies <laughs> no just uh yeah i don't like i don't know like it messes up sometimes and i'm like man maybe i should get a new camera but then it, it's so clear it, right now it works now yeah like i don't um i think it's just effective i bought this one during the um the world event two years ago and I think maybe it's just uh, they're producing them so fast and this one's kind of defective. Oh, no. Kevin's like, are you going to Miami? Uh, I'm not planning on coming to Miami. I know that's a lame answer. <laughs> Botted webcam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, 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 uh, I, it actually is a botted webcam. I'm not even going to. This was one of the leftovers that I had. You want to take this question, Cody? Uh, wait, what's up? Uh, you want to take these comments? Oh, the the outcome. Wait, what is? Yeah. It? Yeah. So I mean, yeah, like <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess I just don't understand the exact point of the question. Let me see. Amazon influencers is different than affiliates. I I feel like this is not really in like a like a selling question. Oh, okay. Um, right. So right. one important thing I wanted to ask is about doing Amazon uh, influence program while doing retail arbitrage. Amazon influencers is different than affiliates. Um, so Do basically, I mean, there's programs for content creators where they like they put the link to their camera. They put the link to their like hiking gear, their oh, packing is that, supplies. Is that what Laughmore is talking about? I was a little I, bit confused by the influencers program. The so they're talking about the affiliate. Yeah, uh, so like you can be part of their program and have affiliate links for when people click your links and buy. Um, it's a pretty small percentage, but um, that doesn't really have to do with selling though. That's like a a content thing. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're making content, might as well pu put the affiliates, but only only uh, plug things that you actually use and enjoy. That's right. That's what I think. Kevin, are you going to Miami? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is. Yeah, I went last year. I had a good time. Um, 
they're actually raising the price on Saturday. So I'm like, shoot, I got to buy. <laughs> so I bought my ticket today. So kind of making the choice and I decided I'm going to go again. <laughs> I bought it webcam. <laughs> This um, one was botted with Eve, guys. For for the people for the people that may or may not know, a very old bot. Eve. <laughs> Favorite category to source from eBay to Amazon. I like office supplies a lot. Yeah, office supplies and electronics. Um. I, yeah. I uh, I really vibed with uh, Jerry uh lose content and like used books I, I did a good bit of used books ebay to amazon and the margins were just really good so i have to say used books yeah you know? he does use books ebay to amazon yeah so specifically like he'll uh he sells a book flipping guide it's like 25 bucks or um whatnot i bought it i was like oh, okay this is i mean it's 25 bucks it's like the price of you go to five guys it's like 25 bucks now um <laughs> but, but i thought it was a pretty all right guy it just shows you how to get started and then yeah he shows you how to flip use books he shows his pnls publicly um i think he's pretty cool and he only does use books ebay to amazon and he buys from macari and stuff sometimes too macari he, he nets like 4k a month for from only spending like three 4k a month which is insane that's really good yeah yeah like he's really good at it he just he's like yep this is what i do <laughs> I, I wonder what his total investment is because i'm sure his books don't turn every single month so maybe he has like 10 grand in it or like 15 grand in it and then yeah that, more grand that, uh, that's <laughs> definitely possible i think he mainly like makes his money on the the textbook waves like because oh. the, the books will shoot up in price um when the students need them so you can buy them on the off season for say twenty bucks, but then the day before, oh Reagan's in the chat. The day before, uh, they'll go up like three, four uh, times the price when you have it listed Amazon Prime because the students want it the next day. They don't right. they can't wait a week because they they have to use it for their class. Laughmore saying now Amazon has influencers program. Influencers program. The videos show up to. Uh, hello buyers make the per oh to help the buyers make the purchases oh yeah that's um oh yeah i've i've seen that before i i don't do any of that um but that's wow. another thing that you can do that that makes so much sense i was like i have no idea what laughmore is talking about but i did see that a few times where there's, there's like some dude in his yard and he's like cooking with a grill and amazon's like hey this grill's pretty good you should buy it he's like the guy's just like cooking on a live stream for hours or it's a loop. Um, <laughs> That's why. So, yeah. I mean, it was pretty like, it's a pretty cool version of advertising. Kevin saying, of course, bro, use code last year for a hundred dollars off. Oh, I purchased it already. Uh, <laughs> and Rakin saying, uh, bro, just seen you grab the Miami ticket. Yeah, dude, I just purchased it. Um, yeah, Raken's going to be there. Kevin's going to be there. Josiah might be there. I'm going to be there. Um, definitely, guys, if you do go, use this code. Um, and if you want to help me out, I also have a link for it as well in the chat. Um, but definitely use this code because I was just uninformed and didn't use the code. Um, Laughmore says, so since you're doing RA, you can manage an Amazon account on the side to make videos for items and send them back afterwards or just make videos of the flips you do before sending to FBA. That's a completely different business model that I just know nothing about. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess you're like, I guess theoretically you could. So it, it seems like from what Laughmore is talking about, you get the product, you make a, a little video about it. And if Amazon likes the video, they'll pay you for it. Hmm. and then i guess you could also sell it also another thing with that is like you're you're um i don't know where you're submitting the videos but that could be outing like all the stuff that you buy <laughs> yeah i mean you don't really like with ra you're looking for these profitable items like if you're doing this type of business model like this like you just 
purchase an item that's popular and you try to promote it, I'm assuming. Uh, we got a question here from Kevin. How did Cody get into reselling straight Amazon or botting with Eve or? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I used to be a big eBay guy. I would uh, do kind of what you do now. And I still, I still do some Ross flips too, but I mainly like I was flipping stuff from the thrift stores and I used to do books in 2017 for a little bit. I just, I hated it. And then I got into kind of like the shoe game of flipping onto eBay and I've had an Amazon account for a long time. I just never really used it. Um, but I was doing a lot of Ross Marshall's Burlington flips from like 2018 to like 2020. I did a little bit of botting in like 2020. Um, and then last year, it's like everybody's e-commerce story is like so different. And then last year, I went heavy into drop shipping on Facebook and uh, Macari and uh, offer up and those kind of platforms i made pretty good money doing that and then now i'm like okay i want to get into something more long term so now i'm doing oa and i've been loving mm -hmm. oa um so that's kind of i've been through a lot of stuff since 2017. Um, yeah you've been selling for a long time i feel like that's a a long time for most people like a lot of people i know for me i started in like mid 2019 yeah like still been going for a while but 2017 is a lot longer the knowledge stacks too like if somebody was like oh you know you hit like like uh last month i did a 65k sales month you, they could be like oh you hit that like super quickly but it's like no i've been selling stuff since 2017 like it's been i've done other things online for a very long time like not like an insanely long time but I mean, I've been selling stuff online for over five years. So I think prior knowledge and like just knowing how to do things really helps. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you you don't sell 65K every single month for the last five years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the goal for the next five years or more. I, I would like to I would like to hit well over 100K months like consistently. That would be incredible. Till I die. <laughs> right. Until you die. <laughs> Good to catch you guys alive. Good to have you, Raken. Uh, love, love seeing your face, Raken. If you're still here, I don't know if you're still here, but <laughs> good, uh, good. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, the go. He sells, he sells a bunch I, of DVDs. I have so much respect for Raken. He's been doing this for so long. He has. It's true. He's been going. It, it like started with like bicycle flips like 10 years ago in the cracker barrel <laughs> selling bikes out of the cracker barrel, <laughs> no, the cracker you used barrel. To work there. can you do a video of how to keep track of the sales in a spreadsheet or whatever you use yeah that's i mean a, that's a good idea yeah, great i don't idea. know why i'd title that but um i mean really just how to keep track of yeah. your online arbitrage purchases yeah yeah that's a really great video idea that's that's one part of reselling nobody talks about is the nobody, accounting side it's, it's not like, like sexy at all yeah because it, yeah it's it's not sexy it's not like oh my gosh oh uh, my gosh accounting oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> much, it's also not glamorous like it's not like like there's a video it's like oh you could be like oh i made sixty five thousand dollars doing reselling and then there's this is how I account, like do my accounting. It's like, <laughs> you know, this is how I keep in stock of on items. Like, people are just like, I need to find items. I don't care to keep. Yeah, that's stock. another thing too. Is most people are just in the in the I can't find anything. No, Kevin, don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's a maybe for me, such a long flight. Yeah, I, I totally get that. Uh, Alaska to M Miami is really, it's like literally diagonal across the country. <laughs> Laugh More says it's basically a new program. You get items of listings that do not have a video of them. I mean, when you open the items page and there are suggested review videos to help you buy that specific item. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot that don't have videos. So, yeah, that's a whole business. Yeah. I mean, do you like marketing? Like for me, I honestly think I would hate that, but like I'm sure it's probably profitable if you do it well. And whoever's video oh, a wow. liar checks out on that listings 
and then make the purchases. You get a commission for each item. So it's sold. like affiliate marketing, but with videos that you, I guess, kind of sell to Amazon in a way. Because you produce the video, yeah. and if they choose to use your video, then you get a commission. Right. Like if Amazon's like, oh, yeah, this will boost our traffic. They'll <laughs> pick it. Yeah. They like, want to make oh, money. this video is converting and making people buy like whatever it is, the grill. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes people buy grills during the winter, it's a success. Exactly. Keepa, keepa. <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, we'll probably be wrapping it up pretty soon yep. here. But thank you guys so much for hanging out and all the all the great questions tonight. Um, I've never actually heard about this um, program, but it sounds like a good program. It's definitely not the regular selling on Amazon, but it's more of a if you can make a really good video, you can sell items. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, if you ha if if you have marketing experience in the past, I could imagine that's in like an insanely good opportunity. Yeah. It it's interesting because there's like a hundred different ways to sell things online, extremely profitably. You just have to get really good at the one thing that you pick, and like not like go off on different business models all the time. You know what I mean? Like it's. Yeah. It's I hard to stay focused because like there's like I see all the time there's people who are doing great stuff with other business models and the, the grass is always greener on the other side, even if you're doing well. So Seth, I really like the post that you made on Twitter. You're like the the woman in the red dress. It's basically mm -hmm. like um it, it's really like what Seth was talking about is like you really just you're scatterbrained and you're like, oh, you know, I could do this thing and it makes a hundred thousand dollars a year. And this thing it makes a hundred thousand dollars a year. But if you can't focus on one, you're not gonna make a lot of money doing any of them. Hmm. Yeah, I appreciate that. I got that from Alex Hermosi, and I think he got it from uh the movie The Matrix, where they were training Neo and they were trying to train him how to actually be observant and a lady in the red dress walks by and he turns his head and looks and ne uh what's the guy's name agent like, smith agent smith like turns around and like the guy was distracted and just shoots him in the face because he was distracted <laughs> he saw the woman in the red dress he didn't stay yeah. focused so yep. yeah very hard to stay focused um underrated skill for sure but yeah, on that note, thank you guys for coming out. If you guys haven't checked out Echo Flips' channel, definitely check it out. Uh, he's been doing 50K plus months for a couple months now and has been doing really, really well with Amazon. He's super good at Merch Refilled as well, which is an underrated skill for sure. Um, so definitely check him out. Um, are you going to be around tomorrow for a live? Yep, da daily lives. Daily lives. Daily lives. Daily we got to help the people out. Everybody's got to make some money. Exactly. Q4. Exactly. The train it's, don't stop. It's 2022. Everyone has to make money online at this point. Exactly. Like, Every single person. The physical labor jobs. No. Everybody's working on Everybody. <laughs> Every single person. The meme is nobody's going to like, I mean, people will do stuff, but like a lot of people just won't, won't do it anyway. Um, so there's always an opportunity for people to like sell on Amazon. Because it's hard and it takes work. Right. But you get rewarded the work that doing the work that other people don't want to do. Exactly. But yeah, thank you guys for coming out and have a good rest of the night. Take care, guys. Bye bye.